Today we're going to show you proper insulation on a propane rack on your jumping jack trailer. Your propane rack is going to include four screws, a ratchet strap, two carabiners, and the actual rack. These are what you're going to need for install. The screws that are provided, some sort of drill, a 3 8 driver bit, if you're going to do it by yourself, a few clamps, if not, another person can hold the propane rack. So the first step is to set the propane rack in the V of the tongue of the trailer. You're going to want the propane rack as far forward towards the coupler of the trailer. There are two tabs on the front of the rack. They should rest right on top of the tongue. That will allow the holes that are in the side to line up with the top of the tongue. That should give you the proper placement up and down. If your propane rack is in the proper position, you should have the four holes down the side of the propane rack visible, and you should have space between the front gate and the propane rack to allow that front gate to come in and out easily. If you can see the holes, that will also mean that you are sitting high enough to allow this jack to swing up and lock into place when you're traveling with the trailer. Once your propane rack is properly positioned, if you have another person with you that can hold it in place while you put the screws in, this would be the time to get them and have them hold it in place. If you're doing it by yourself, any clamp can be used to clamp the propane rack to the tongue. So we're double checking to make sure our tab is touching the tongue and that our holes are high enough and lined up as we put these clamps on. Now that we have our clamps on, we can go ahead and install the screws in the bottom of the propane rack. So now that we are under the trailer, we're gonna install our screws. There are four pre-drilled holes in your propane rack to give you the proper location for the screws. So I'm just gonna take and install my first screw here. So these are self-tapping screws, so there's no pre-drilling involved. You're just gonna sink that self-tapper in. I'm gonna kinda, as I go, double check and make sure my propane rack isn't moving. Now that all four of your screws have been installed, we can remove our clamp, or if we had a helper, they can now let go of the rack. 